Hi. What's up, Reese? How are you? I lost the tooth. I was just going to say, you're missing a tooth. All right, Briz, thanks for being with us on Duncan Take It to the House. You've got a full house. You're not the only Zoom meeting happening on that couch right now as it happens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How is the, uh, how's the family uh, making their way through quarantine and online school? And you have the three daughters, of course. Uh, what, what's life like in the Brizendine house right now? So the only thing that's really changed is dad is home uh, more frequently. Uh, we homeschool our kids, so uh, they get a taste of what it's like. Um, they just have me around more, and um, yeah, I think we're in a pretty good routine at this moment, so that's good. It's taken us a little while to get adjusted. How, how, what is that like as a coach? You know, you guys are all type A, go, go, go type personalities, whether that's the season or whether that's the recruiting aspect of the year or whether it's your family. What, what's it like to decel a little bit? For me, it went through phases. The first couple of weeks, I was like, oh, this is great. Uh, and then it sunk in that uh, this is a lot different. And I didn't have really a routine, which I'm a man of routine. What happened? Um, so that was very difficult. Um, and now I felt like I've been able to put my energies towards some other things, which has been really good. All kinds of awesome things happening in your program. Uh, and let's, yeah. let's talk about that. You know, greatest stretch in Virginia Tech men's soccer history over the last four years. I don't think there's really any debate about that. When, when you mm -hmm. go back to the 2016 season, that run to the Elite Eight, how, how has that allowed you to – or how has that created a springboard for the program? I mean, it's obviously helped with recruiting and kept it going. I mean, what happened during that time is we had guys that wanted to win – we had guys with great attitudes and the right uh, mentality. And that leadership carried on because we, we kept most of the guys from 16 into 17. And we had injuries and some other things, but most of the leadership was there. And then I think that just paved the way for our, this is how we're going to do business for the future. And that's, that's kept going through through that, uh, through the years now and into the recruiting. Shot on, Lundgaard gets a piece, second chance potentially coming, and Lundgaard gets out to knock it down and then falls on top of it. Trying to net another right before halftime. To the middle, it is still alive, and a chance at a goal. This time, Kasich puts it in. Briz, you guys are bringing in five signees uh, from all over the globe. You know, Delaware, North Carolina, South Carolina, Australia, Brazil. How, how do you take a, a brand like Virginia Tech men's soccer global like that? And, and how imperative is it to win on the top level? Because of the internet, because of like the ACC network and the, the quality that we're able to broadcast um, and how far it's reached, our brand has branched out, you know? And so selling it is not, it's not what it used to be. I can tell you that, you know, eight years ago we had to, try to paint a full picture of what's going on. And um, we don't have to do that anymore. When we start talking, people know who we are. Um, and it's very competitive. And this year's group is tremendous. It's very, very good. And some of the schools that we had to beat out to get them, we typically don't win those battles and we're winning those battles more. And look, the staple always is we're trying to, why we branched out, we, we get good Virginia kids. It's always been our MO and, and we've continued on that. I'm happy, obviously very pleased about that. Well, you and I are friends, so you don't have to sell me on your personality, obviously, as the leader of the men's soccer yeah. program. But what style of play, what mindset are you selling? Uh, yeah, maybe selling is not the right word. Are, are you advertising for, for those potential Hokies? They know that it'll be exciting, that we like to attack, we like to, to go forward. But here's one thing, and this is where I like to sell. My guys want to win. And the reality is, if I told the guys, you know, you have to kick it out of bounds 20 times, they'll believe me and we'll go forward. And that's what they'll do. And so that's what we attract, because we don't hide from that. We will do what it takes to win soccer games. Now, usually it's playing the way that we want to play, but if we're not allowed, if we're not the dominant team, we'll do what it takes. Unfortunately for us, so it works out. And again, you know, ladies, that's not me. I have an awesome <laughs> So they carry the heavy load with that. Uh, I'm the spokesperson, but um, that's, that's the way that it goes. Coach, just a couple more. James Kasach, B 
becomes your latest player to be drafted. How important is that to send guys to the next level uh, to showcase to, to recruits that you are a, a launching pad type of program? They want to see that. They want to know that we're doing that, that we're producing those players. Um, and I think there'll be several behind them, depending on what happens you know, now. But had things not um, gone the way they've gone, we had several guys that are going to be following in footsteps. Um, and again, particular to what I just said, when we're trying to talk about Virginia kids, I mean, there's a boy from Southwest out in the country, uh, played for a very, very small high school, got drafted. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. So it, a lot of our Virginia kids know about that. Yeah, and you look at that four-year stretch, Coach, and there's some things that I think the casual fan or the casual observer of Virginia Tech Athletics might not recognize in terms of where you guys have finished in the ACC and nationally in the Directors' Cup and some of the giant strides that you've made. Go, Virginia Tech! We put something together for the alumni group that, and I didn't realize it. I mean, I thought that we did pretty well. I knew that we did pretty well and, and things were going. Um, until we sat down and actually crunched the numbers. So we were actually, if you took over those four years, we were fourth in the ACC as far as director's points. Um, Wake, UVA, and Louisville in front of us. I mean, that's something I'm tremendously proud of. I mean, it's, after I realized that, I was just like, whoa, you know, I mean, that's head of North Carolina, Duke, Clemson, Notre Dame. I mean, those are unbelievable programs. And for us to have I've gotten in front of them, I think is, is quite a testament of what's been going on here in the in soccer department.